The world's climate is changing. Temperatures are rising everywhere, and we often experience extreme weather conditions. But is climate change making us ill? When temperatures rise, animals start to migrate, including some that transmit pathogens to human beings. Take the Asian tiger mosquito, for example. It transmits malaria, an illness that claims some one million lives every year. The mosquito can only thrive if temperatures are warm enough. And that's now the case in an increasing number of regions because of global warming. Malaria-carrying mosquitoes are now found on higher ground and in growing numbers of countries. Plants are also finding new habitats. The common ragweed is normally found only in North America, but now Europe offers temperatures that are warm enough for the plant. It makes life difficult for allergy sufferers. And more bad news for those with allergies. As temperatures rise, the period during which indigenous plants produce pollen becomes longer. An increase in extreme weather conditions is also a result of climate change. Large areas are flooded due to heavy rainfall, and people die in floods. Epidemics can spread. Mosquito nets can protect us from malaria. And there are pills that offer relief for allergy sufferers. Building homes far away from rivers protects them from flooding. But climate change is affecting more and more people worldwide, especially those who cannot afford these solutions. So the solution is, put the brakes on climate change. <laughs>